Aloha Unconventionals, I'm Amelia. And I'm JP. And we're sharing our unconventional life with you from Ecuador. And today we're going on an adventure and we may see boobies. <laughs> Before we dive in, literally, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell please, if you're curious what life is really like in Ecuador. Unconventionals, we are so excited to be on this adventure. JP and I have wanted to come here since we moved to Ecuador over three years ago. It was an hour boat ride to get here and we have arrived. We are at Isla de la Plata, also known as Poor Man's Galapagos. Poor Man's Galapagos. <laughs> and we are first going to go for a hike and probably see some boobies. <laughs> <laughs> We started our hike up the hill to see the boobies and other things. <laughs> oh, trust animales. It's very dry right now, and they were saying in the winter time, January, February, March here, it is very dry, but then it should start raining and everything will be green, so we'll have to come back. So in April it rains? In no, he said it'll start raining now and then it'll be green by like April or May. Oh, okay. Como repelente para los mosquitos. Sí. Y esto lo utilizan los chamanes para hacer los baños de sauna. En las casas hacen humo para espantar mucha la mala energía. Mmm, it smells amazing. Esta planta que robo, raíz profunda, verdes. Okay. Mucho más verde. Sí. Sangre de drago. De drago. Eh, es bueno, puedes, puedes probar. Mira, mira, ve, mira, ve. Oh, wow. ¿Sí ves? Es bueno cortar, es bueno para la triste, para gastritis. Sí. Oh, Como sí. yo, prueba. Wow, that's so weird. Look at that. It does look like blood. Pero tienes bloqueador. Porque no, ya, ya no bloqueador. No. Porque este, esta piel es natural. Oh, ok. No. Mira, ¿ves? Pero no funciona como sunblock. No. dry and I was afraid it would smell really musty or dusty but it actually smells so beautiful because all you smell is Palo Santo. We made it to the rest area, and as you can hear, we're both breathing heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, a little tougher than it looks. <laughs> but it is a beautiful day. Yeah, Thank goodness we have plenty of water. And the views are incredible up here. Yes. What a perfect blue sky day we have. Oh, wow. Our guide was telling us that the reason this is called Isla de la Plata, if you can see the white back there, that is actually guano from all of the boobies and other 
birds that poop. <laughs> and obviously it looks white and in the moonlight it shines and it looks like silver. The booby behind me, he's very white because he is more of a baby. As they get older, they start to get more color and when they're fully grown, they are very blue. Well, their feet are. Their feet are very blue. The rest of them are not. <laughs> and they also pant, which we thought was interesting, like animals do to regulate their temperature. What we're seeing is the remnants of the nest where the babies were born. The uh, babies take 40 to 45 days before they hatch, and both parents help take care of their babies. So the male will go first and get food and bring it back and then stay with the newly hatched babies. And then the mom, the female, will go and take her turn bringing the food back. I was surprised to see a cotton tree. And our guide was telling us that there are a lot of cotton trees out on the continent and a few of them here on the islands. JP, you can t pick up all those dried leaves and make your own tea. <laughs> mate. Me gusta mate. I think he likes you, Amelia. He's so curious. Yeah, he's taking a good look at you. <laughs> it's like giving you the head turn. It's interesting because you could tell kind of how old they are because how fluffy. He still has a lot of that feathery down. It is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful here and it's so peaceful. Before we came here, we didn't realize boobies could fly. We've only seen them standing before with their big blue feet, but they're actually quite graceful in the air. It's amazing to see them fly. They look like acrobats. I think it's amazing how those birds are perched right on the edge of the cliff and of course they are birds but we were told that sometimes the younger ones will fall off and die. Yeah, we have our own private <laughs> beach down there. Yeah, if we can get down there. <laughs> yelled at by the boobies. Yeah, I thought, <laughs> I thought they were going to come at me. They're not blue footed yet though. <laughs> no. What did he say about them? He said that this is a good spot where it's nice and flat where they could start to spread their wings and kind of practice flying and they're safer here. But their feet don't turn blue till when? Till they're older. Mas viejo. Si. This is a male blue footed booby with his baby that he is protecting so he'll turn his body to keep the baby in the shade. And they also make a nest uh, safety zone basically by pooping around in a circle and it smells bad and keeps the reptiles and other predators away. Our guide was telling us that as kids they use these little fruits and it's like a natural hair gel. <laughs> it's very sticky. You can eat them too. These are the Nazca boobies. They have the black mask as opposed to the blue feet. And the gray one that was flapping its wings and hopping is learning how to fly and his mom is helping him. It's interesting that the boobies just stand around in the dirt. Most of them aren't even under any cover or anything. They just kind of stand out in the open. I learning think that, how to fly. And learn how to fly with these nice uh, coastal breezes blowing up here. This island is actually older than Galapagos. This is a continental island, whereas Galapagos is a volcanic island. So this one's been here longer. Yeah, who knew? Who knew? All right, we're going to head back now and go snorkeling.
before we got ready to go snorkeling and I pulled my GoPro out. The main reason we bought it was to take it in the water and it won't power on. And I made sure last night I had 100% charge. Yeah, we're pretty disappointed. Yeah, we're pretty but life disappointed. goes on. So we're going to get in the water now and hopefully see some parrotfish. And I guess we'll tell you about it <laughs> <laughs> because we can't show you. We're back on the mainland. Yes, we had a fantastic day. It was so much fun, but we're kind of tired now. Yeah, with all the sun and the hiking and the boat riding, we're definitely ready to be done for the day. But it was a fantastic trip. We highly recommend it. Yeah, it took about uh, six and a half hours. It was $46 per ticket, about an hour's boat ride out and another hour back. We hiked for a couple of hours and then snorkeled for a while. Yep. It and was awesome. It was awesome. Oh, and on the way out to Isla de la Plata, it took a little bit longer because they spotted whales. A pride whale. Yes. Okay, several different pride whales. Not the humpbacks that we saw the last time. It was amazing. It's, it's incredible how big they are. And then to get to see the turtles and the parrot fishes and you could see all the way down to the bottom when we were over at Isla de la Plata. The water yep. was a little chilly for me, but it was still amazing. It was perfect for me. <laughs> yes, JP it was likes a, it cold. It was about 30 feet, I would guess, 30 feet of water. We saw some parrot fish and a bunch of little fish. Yep. But it was definitely chilly for the ladies. <laughs> the men were like, oh, it feels great. It felt great to me. Yes. But anyway, we had a wonderful, wonderful day. Highly recommend taking this tour, especially if uh, you haven't been to Galapagos yet. We've heard that you should do this one before you go to Galapagos because yep. it might be anticlimactic, but <laughs> it was really neat seeing the blue-footed boobies and the Mos Mosca? Nazca? Nazca or Mosca, I'm not Nazca sure. Nazca boobies. And then lots of frigate birds. <laughs> yes, a lot of frigate birds and we saw tropical white, some sort of white tropical bird that was really pretty. Yes, and just walking through uh, the hike on the way up and smelling all the Palo Santo trees, it was beautiful. It was amazing. All right, guys, I think that's all we have for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave us a thumbs up, please. Yes, please. And let us know what you thought of the blue-footed boobies <laughs> and the Nazca boobies in the comments below. We will see you all in our next video. Ciao. Ciao.